Welcome back to Get Connected. We are in California. I am standing in Union Square in San Francisco and we're having a great time. Now we just talked about your heart health, but now we're going to talk about the largest organ in your body. Of course, that's the skin. And world-renowned dermatologist is about to join us. Dr. Hema will tell us some of the ways that we can keep varicose veins to a minimum and keep our skin health to a maximum. Dr. Hema, welcome to Get Connected. Hi, Khan. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, Doctor, we're excited to hear some of your advice, but first and foremost, how did you decide to become a dermatologist? Well, you know, Khan, I decided to become a dermatologist while I was in medical school. I had the opportunity to experience pretty much every medical specialty. And what struck me when I was going through my dermatology rotations was firstly, that the skin is a total manifestation of everything that's going on in our bodies. And being a dermatologist is a bit like being a detective because if there's something that is wrong with your liver or with your kidneys or with your heart or any of the other internal systems, there will be manifestations in the skin. It's, I'm a very visual person and dermatology is a very visual field. And I also love to do things with my hands. And I started out performing skin surgeries, removing skin cancers. Wow. And then I had the opportunity to move into performing cosmetic surgery. And I really found that a very inspiring field. You know, doctor, today we're talking about varicose and spider veins. What has you so concerned about that? Well, I think it's exactly what we've been talking about, Khan. Uh, many women and men are affected with these unsightly veins, and specifically we're going to be focusing on spider veins, which are those thread-like blue and red veins that commonly appear on the legs. And what I see so often in my daily practice is what an impact this has on people's self-confidence. You know, my patients will be embarrassed to wear swimsuits. They will be shy about wearing shorts or short clothing. They'll do anything to avoid showing their legs socially. And this definitely impacts their self-confidence and their self-esteem. Well, doctor, I know you're here to share what the latest treatments are as it relates to these conditions. What has you so excited? Well, the newest treatment is called a sclera, A-S-C-L-E-R-A. It is extremely safe and effective, and it is the most extensively studied treatment we've ever had for spider veins. And in studies, 85% of patients said they were satisfied or very satisfied with their treatment. What the treatment involves, as we can see, is inserting a very tiny needle gently into the unwanted veins and injecting the esclera, and that closes down the veins and converts them to harmless fibrous tissue. Doctor, I'm just curious, what can we do to prevent varicose and spider veins? Well, to prevent them, what I would recommend is if you're sitting at a desk for long periods of time or standing still for long periods, which will tend to stagnate your circulation, see if you can get up and walk around for a few minutes every hour to keep the leg veins pumping and the circulation going. If you are sitting or standing for prolonged periods, you may also want to consider wearing support hose and perhaps elevating your legs on a box or a crate under your desk. All these things can help. Doctor, I was hoping just in general, regardless of our age or sex, what are some general tips when it comes to our skin care, keeping the skin healthy? Well, I think sunscreen is an absolute must, Con. We're exposed to the sun's damaging rays on a daily basis. Even driving in the car with the windows up, we're going to get some of the sun's damaging rays coming through the glass. So what I recommend is a good broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or above. I practice yoga and I'm very into a holistic lifestyle, so I do like to recommend some natural skin therapies. We have some natural antioxidants, green tea, and coffee berry and so on and so forth, which can be very effective for rejuvenating the skin. Soy extracts, many of our natural ingredients turn out to have beneficial effects for the skin. Doctor, I know you women love moisturizers, but is that something us guys should incorporate into our routine? Guys most definitely use moisturizers. Sometimes they may swipe their, uh, their wife's moisturizer or their girlfriend's moisturizer, but more and more men are getting into the concept that it's very good to maintain the daily health of your skin. And what I recommend for a moisturizer is that you should definitely put one on at nighttime. Your nighttime is the period when your skin is able to regenerate itself and rejuvenate itself because it's in a resting state. And if your skin tends to be dry, you can apply a moisturizer in the morning after cleansing and before using sunscreen. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Khan.